tournaments and what's not. Unless they like do war games, there's no real way for them to right. figure it out. Yeah. Now, uh, I did get confirmation that all the tournament gear pieces that were missing uh, this time around won't be missing uh, next in 6.2. So that's really cool to hear uh, <clears throat> that the tournament gear is all going to be there and complete. But here we go. Six seconds until this game starts. Here we go, we have SSDS immediately pushing in, getting out uh, some initial damage onto Cytrix. Uh, he's actually going to use his wall right away, already popping that Divine Protection. Absurd's actually getting bashed up, so it looks like they're, they're going to be doing a change of strategy, CCing Absurd instead of um, trying to train him down. Cytrix using his Avenging Wrath, though. Ev's also using that Demon Soul. Kipo in a lot of trouble, trying to get away. Uh, Divine, or sorry, his Save of the Light procking on him. He's able to get away, get some heals out onto himself, but he gets locked out there by S. Well done by him. That was a quick counter spell. Cytrix, though, down to 17% HP, having to use that bubble. Absurd's not overreacting, though. Um, uh, didn't have to use any cooldowns. He's going to be able to hopefully top off Cytrix. Kipo using that Avenging Wrath. He is still getting tunneled down, getting hodged up there by Cytrix. Ev still has one Demon Soul available and ready to go. Um, but yeah. Whoa! Cytrix is just going to go down. Absurd's barely spirit linking him in time. Ev's not able to get into the link. He's still down to 50%. And Kids of Toxic 2.0 looking just as strong as the first game here, even switching their strategy onto Cytrix. Absurd's sitting through a full bash. Cytrix choosing not to bop him out of it. He's going to have to save one for himself here. Trying to line aside desperately, taking a lot more damage, I think, than he expected. He does manage to eat the trap that SSDS was trying to land onto Absurd. So well played by Cytrix to eat that CC here. Psych going for a clone. He's going to get rebuked by Cytrix. Cytrix doing a good job shutting down this team CC, but SSDS using the Murder of Crows now, trying to take him out here very quickly. Absurd is going to get hodged. Ev's in a clone. 3v1 onto Cytrix. Down to 30. He's going to bop himself into safety range here. Ev's landing a double howl onto the DPS, but Psych looking for a clone here. He's not able to land it. Cytrix gates away with Absurd and will stabilize for the time being. Yeah, but Absurd immediately getting put into that full trap, um, and Cytrix is still in a little bit of trouble. Ev's trying to turn it around, though, uh, using that Demon Soul. His dots are going to be exceptionally powerful now. The DR Wyverns thing coming out, um, or sorry, the full Wyverns thing going out onto Ev's. I didn't expect that. Um, Kipo doing a good job keeping uh, Psych Psycho Psycho and SSDS um, topped off and quite offensive. But Psycho taking a lot of damage, having to use that survival instinct, getting spiked down by Cytrix. Cytrix actually has it as his Avenging Wrath coming up soon, and uh, Kipo's not going to have wings. Psycho's not going to have uh, many cooldowns to really deal with it. So um, if Cytrix can get a well-timed wings off after Kipo's um, cooldowns fade, um, they could actually potentially score a kill on a Psycho. Uh, Absur is actually getting fully cloned up. He has no trinket available. Psy having to play very defensive. He doesn't have gateway available. He's got to sit here. He does have one bop available. Um, Murder of Crows are up and ready to go for SSDS. He knows um, that Psy is probably going to have to bop that off. He's going to throw it out. Just wants to get that pressure going. Uh, hopefully work through that cooldown. But the Avenging Wrath and Demon Soul coming out from Evs and Psytrix at the moment. Psy is actually going to get cloned up. Trinkets it immediately into a DR clone. Kipo in a lot of trouble though. Fully loaded up with Dots. Stable the Light procking on him. He does have Trinket um, ready to go. Bop as well as his Forbearance is going to be fading. Um, but he's going to manage to survive. But SSDS getting chunked down as well. Um, Sable the Light Pocky, Psycho, down to 1% HP, Zack coming out, he also has that Survival Instinct, managed to get that off in the nick of time, or surely he would have died, Cytrix caught into a full trap, Kipo just having a hard time keeping himself up, um, this entire team being rotted down right now, caught into the full Hodge, he's gonna trigger that right away, he can't fall further behind, Absurd's caught into the full Hodge at the moment, he does have Trinket available, he's not gonna use it, Cytrix has a bop ready to go, uh, as well as a sack for Abster to CC, so um, please, Jimmy, don't flop. Looking very, very comfortable right now. Yeah, and they really are, for now, two sacrifices available. Cytrix choosing not to sacrifice uh, the trap, and it was actually overlapped with the trinket and the sack uh, at the end of that, so that huge overlap might cost them here. Absur is going to have a link available, but no trinket. It's not going to provide much use. Uh, Kids of Toxic 2.0 swapping over to Evs, already taking him down to 50%. Uh, Cytrix here shortly trying to stop the incoming CC. The Murder of Crows gets used onto Cytrix. He's trying to gateway away and heal with Absturge, basically playing together as a team to stay alive 
through all these cooldowns. Ev's getting cloned up. Uh, Kappa's Avenging Wrath going to be fading here shortly as well as his big burst healing. Now Absturge caught into a full bash. SSDS looking to chain that into the full trap and he has no trinket. He overlapped it earlier with the sack. Cytrix is completely alone. Ev's trying to fear spam the DPS. Down to 19%. Absturge gets full cloned out of it. Cytrix is going to go down. That overlap costing him his life. And please, Jimmy, I think I'm supposed to say Jimmy, don't flop. Uh, it is supposed to say Jimmy. On the Grand Arena. But my, Jimmy. that was no, such Jimmy. a... Jimmy, no! That was such a crazy game. I cannot believe Kintotakic still won that. Both uh, Kipo and uh, uh, Sinkyo, Sinkyo uh, got so very close to dying. It was incredible. But there we go. Yeah, keep, yeah stable the light proc on Kipo, then it proc on SSDS, and then Psycho almost... <laughs> <laughs> instantly got gift just all over the place. Unbelievable game. I'm really excited to see what happens next. Uh, but uh, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna go and ask these teams. Oh, SSDS is on the game. He is announcing to me that he's playing Jungle Cleave. Thank you so much, SSDS. Dude, that's what I like to see, man. So, uh, Tick Kids the Toxic will be playing that Jungle Cleave once again. I'm going to go ahead and ask, uh, please, Jimmy, don't flop what map they want to be playing on. And if they want to be uh, playing uh, a different compositions, they have that option available to them if they want to swap it up. All right, so it looks like they are going to be requesting Tolveron Arena. Here we go. Let's jump into the next series here. War games request being sent out. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Just Twitch chat making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go. Game number two between Kids of Toxic and Please Jimmy Don't Flop. So far, I mean, Kids of Toxic 2.0 look like they're doing pretty good, but man, there has been some close calls both of these games, and we are in game number two here on Tolveron Arena. A bit larger of a map, maybe this larger map might give Please Jimmy Don't Flop an advantage, but they got so very close last game. Here we go. Yeah, really, it could go either way. I mean, we saw... How do you say his name? Sitchio? Uh, Sitchio. Psycho. Psycho? Psycho. Psycho? Psycho. Sure. Psycho. Psycho. I'm calling Psycho. Really, we saw Psycho. I mean, he went down to, I think, 1% HP before he got his survival instincts and the sack came out uh, from Kipo. So, yeah. That's about as close as the game can go. The gateway coming out from Evs. Um, going out to around the middle of the map, SSDS already getting loaded up with dots. Sitio uh, looking like he wants to bash up Absurge uh, right away. Doesn't look like he's the target of choice though. Cytrix taking a lot of damage actually right now. Divine Protection actually going out from him as well as Avenging Wrath. SSDS down to 12% HP. Avenging Wrath coming out from Kipo trying to keep him up. But SSDS needs to be very careful. Catches a huge heal though. Evs has that Demon Soul up as well. Cytrix and Evs going crazy offensive in this opener. Uh, Divine Protection also coming up from Kipo. He's going to be able to stabilize, but uh, both teams coming out of the gate strong. Yeah, Cytrix is Avenging Wrath fading now along with his pressure. He's slowly getting chunked down. Absurge actually dropping a Spirit Link there. Uh, it was instantly killed. I didn't even see it, but it's on It's on cooldown for now. So one of his links getting cut through already. Uh, it's going to be very important. It's a major cooldown for his team to survive. A Kappa in the meantime, though, getting full feared by Evs, looking to chain that into another fear, uh, into a final fear here. SSDS rotting down, now fully dotting Kappa. Uh, Cytrix trying to stay together with Absurge and output some pressure as much as he can. Uh, full dots getting loaded out here shortly by Evs. Going for the haunt now onto Psycho. Down to 20%. Side by the light proc. They cut through the state by the light. He's going to survival instincts. Now choosing instead to pop the incarnation. And in the face of death, Psycho laughs and tries to take Cytrix down. He's going to shield while still down to 20%. Kappa's going to bubble. Cytrix has to bubble. And on both sides, it's so explosive. 
Yeah, Abster, if we look at its cooldown, still has Trinket and a Spirit Link available. Cytrix still has two sacks and two bops ready to go, so he's going to be able to get Abster out of some CC. Um, both teams just using so many cooldowns, though. Kipo, no Trinket, no bubble available, has one bop uh, ready to go. SSDS also has two deterrences, so both teams having some cooldowns left to survive, but Abster is getting fully cloned up. Cytrix taking a lot of damage, still does not have that Divine Protection. Getting down to around 50% HP, Absurge finally out of CC, able to throw um, some heals onto him. Kipo using Avenging Wrath, wants to keep Sitio and SSD as offensive as possible. Absurge is actually getting sacked out of that crowd control. And uh, he's going to be able to get off some healing surges at the moment. He's trying to fake over and over and over. Ev's actually getting um, uh, CC'd up there by SSDS. Well done by him. Kipo caught into the full Hodge. Divine protection coming out from him. Uh, he does have Sable of the Light available with the Bob coming out as well. So a little bit of an overlap there uh, by Kipo. Cytrix does have that Avenging Wrath up though. So much damage coming out from him. After using it, his second Spirit Link totem at the moment. Wants to keep Evs and Cytrix offensive. The full trap though onto Absurge. Evs caught into the full clone Cytrix all by himself. All alone. The Murder of Crows doing work on a Cytrix at the moment. SSDS and Zyko getting feared up though by Evs. Beautiful defensive play by Evs, knowing he needs to peel. He needs to give Absurd some time to keep up Cytrix, and uh, both teams are going to stabilize. Yeah, the Spirit Walker's Grace out from Absurd, granting him that Aura Mastery to top his team off. Cytrix is Avenging Wrath, not going to be available for some time. Incarnation as well, not available for some time. Evs popping the Dark Soul to get some pressure rolling. Full dots and haunt on the both Psycho and SSDS. Kappa's got a lot of work ahead of him, down to 30% HP now. He chooses to Hodge Absurd. SSDS has to deterrence Kappa into a full fear. Full clone onto Absurd, though. Pressure onto Cytrix, down to 20%, and Cytrix will go down. Maybe a cross kill potentially here. They don't have any more. CC though, Kappa's getting the heals rolling. The Avenging Wrath is going to secure his team the victory here on Tolveron Arena, but it was a close one. It absolutely, absolutely was, man. Holy crow. Kids of Toxic versus Please Jimmy Don't Flop. Now, uh, I don't know. Kids of Toxic, they're going to go ahead and advance here in tournament number 17, and they're going to the semifinals unless somehow, some way, Abs brings it back. Abster's doing his best to try to.